Have you ever worked this hard on a rough mix? And it got you this. Hello? Hey guys, yeah. You digging the mix? All right. Yeah, man, I, yeah. Guitars are up and loud. Yeah, drums are super punchy. Yeah, you like the vocal effects like that? Awesome. Yeah, man, it's just pumping, it's pumping. Yeah, man, it's one of my best, best, best rough mixes ever. Yes. Cool, man. Glad you guys are digging it. All right. Catch you later. Well, you've just screwed yourself. Next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. This week, we're gonna take a close look into the health and the psychology of your tracks, your mixes, and the flow of every recording project. This subject isn't talked about very much, but every producer, mixer, or record maker will tell you that if you don't get this part right, you're doomed. As we make our way through projects, oftentimes artists or record companies want rough mixes of songs. Usually artists want them because they're so excited that they want to blast them in their car or play them for their friends, even though you tell them not to and they swear they won't. Labels want to hear how things are coming along and make genius suggestions that you obviously missed along the way that'll take the songs to the next level of excellence. Cue laughter now. So what's the mistake I've made a million times at this critical stage? Give them great rough mixes. And what do great rough mixes lead to? This. I deeply regret to inform you that you've come down with the most incurable disease that is often fatal. You need to get your affairs in order because this is a killer of all things good and proper. A destroyer of excellence in the gateway to hell itself. You have... Demoitis. Demoitis, horrific disease where lacking the ability to let go of a much inferior demo version of a track, mix, or performance leads to death of music careers. Obviously, at this point in the process, your tracks aren't demos anymore, but your mixes are demo mixes, and the artist and the label will start to get attached to your killer, overblown, rough mix. Your intentions were right, but the guitars are hyped and louder than they should be. The guitar player's gonna love it. The vocals are overly compressed and have way too much delay. The singer's gonna love it. The master bus limiter is slamming like the hammer of Thor to make everyone excited. You've now overstimulated everyone on your team. And when you send them your baby, your less hyped, less pumping, less ridiculous mix that actually sounds great and will sound great everywhere, they're gonna hate it. Congratulations, they're now addicted to the poison You've served them, demoitis. So how do we get around this? Is there a cure? Well, I am a doctor. So first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell whoever this mix goes to, hey, I don't have time to really tweak out a great rough mix. Let me get you something that you can listen to, but we're just wasting time to make a great rough mix on something that we're gonna redo anyway. So let me go down here where the vocals start, and let me do some automation that will let them know for sure that this is a rough mix. Can't see the moon, can't see the light, it's all covered up like a scene. I fill up my cup with ashes and ice, I leave not a trace, just a wink and a smile. Glow in the dark, their bones playing drums and stones made of heart. The wild are awake with fear and a start, the smell of smoke from a wire and a spark. Their face with rose colored clay, it looks like. So immediately, they're going to have something to listen to and go, oh yeah, we're, we're getting the vibe, we're getting the vibe. But they're not going to get attached to the vocal sound because it's coming in and out. So their attention is going to go away from that. They're going to hear that as something that, of course, is going to be fixed later, replaced. We would never do these kind of automation moves or mutes in a vocal. Next thing, which I should have done first, I'm going to take off my final two limiters of my master bus and it's going to make it a lot softer the moon, can't see the light it's all covered up like a scene they fill up my cup with ashes and ice i leave not a trace just a wink and a smile they glow in the dark their bones 
bounced around here. There's a guitar. Let's do some to that. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, now at the end we have drums and stuff like that come in. Let's mess with those a little bit. more automation moves just so they can take their focus off the mix and dart around to the different instrumentation okay there's a really cool vocal track here let's bring that out too loud and then bring it back down Okay, so we're still giving them a taste of all of our hard work, but we're not giving them a mix to obsess about. And that's the most important thing here. It sounds like you're just fumbling your way through the track as you're listening and making a rough mix. And that's exactly what we want. Hey, I know you all probably get tired of hearing this on YouTube, and I didn't even realize what it meant before I had my own YouTube channel. But please hit the subscribe button below. It helps me out, and it helps you to know when a new surgery is available to watch. It's free, and it's free. Wait, what? Now, stop spreading the very disease that you're trying to cure, demoitis. Send rough mixes to your team and make them rough. The health and the psychology of your project depend on it. I'll see you the next time. The doctor's in. I am a doctor. <laughs>